the business and uh, in relation to private members' bills. It's an announcement I wish to make this morning. Members will be aware that the current focus of our business is on providing time for committees to conduct the vital scrutiny of the secondary legislation which departments have led over the past three years. At this early stage, I am also giving consideration to elements of how I manage assembly business. I want this assembly to be seen to be a platform for dealing with key issues affecting our community. Solutions to address those issues may often be brought forward by ministers, but I want to ensure that members also have the ability to be heard and to play their part in fulfilling the potential of this assembly. Now, that makes my role to determine the support arrangements to enable members to develop private members' bills even more important. Over recent years, the members seeking to develop private members' bills have grown significantly beyond the capacity of the system which was set up in the initial years of the Assembly. So, for instance, the number of proposals submitted in the first week after the 2016 election, 25, was equal to the number submitted throughout the entire 2011-2016 mandate. And on previous experience, the average time to develop a proposal, produce a property developed bill and take it through the House is sometimes 22 to 24 months. Therefore, time is of the essence for members to build on the momentum of the Assembly's return to be able to convert their ideas into possible legislation before the next election. In the setting of my approach, I have taken both these issues into account and I am today publishing the guidance for members on PMPs. I will not go through all of the details of this process this morning here, but there are some key changes to announce. Firstly, the Bill Office will now contain both an Executive Bills team and a non-Executive Bills team. This will ensure dedicated support for our members. Secondly, there will be an increase in the staffing of the Bill Office from 7 to 12 staff. Thirdly, support will no longer be provided on a first-come, first-served basis. All distinct proposals which meet the requirements of the process will be supported. Where several members submit the same proposal, they will be encouraged to collaborate on it. Fourthly, all bills which have not completed the legislative process fall at the end of a mandate. However, proposals which members began working on after the 2016 election may be submitted. In addition, members will have the opportunity to demonstrate that some of their previous work from 2016, for example, any consultation process that they had carried out, can be carried over and does not need to be repeated. On this basis, the window in which bill proposals can be submitted will open from tomorrow, Tuesday the 4th of February, until Tuesday the 31st of March. Now, this enables some time, particularly for new members, to familiarise themselves with the process. After submission, the Bill Office will work with members to refine their proposals until the end of April. In producing the guidance, I have sought to ensure that enhanced work and enhanced support is available for members. And I want to thank Assembly officials who have worked to put these new arrangements to support members in place. However, there is also a need to look to the future, so I am writing today to the Chair of the Committee on Procedures. In 2016, the Committee on Procedures began a review of the PMB system, which it was unable to complete before the Assembly dissolved in 2017. It would be beneficial for that review to resume. In addition to considering the process around private members' bills and the support provided to it in general, I am also asking the Committee to consider a number of specific issues. These include encouraging collaboration amongst members across parties by enabling more than one name to be attached to a bill to lead it through the House. I am also asking the Committee to consider what provisions should be in place for those bills which members draft and present themselves independently of the Bill Office. Such bills are, of course, in order, but I think it is worth considering whether there is an any inequity between those members who rely on support from the Bill Office and those who have access to independent or external support. And there is also a public interest in ensuring transparency about how such support has been provided. Finally, while I have been keen to ensure that there is a system which supports the rights of members to bring forward legislation, I also want to emphasise that members must be mindful of their responsibilities. Taking forward a private member's bill requires diligence over a long period, and furthermore, the support for members is provided through the public purse. I expect members to make efficient use of that resource 
and therefore they should not submit proposals to develop a bill lately. If a member does not meet the key milestones in the development process, I have given the Bill Office authority to cease the development of that proposal, which will mean it will progress no further. Producing and enacting legislation is an onerous and time-consuming task, but it also offers a reward of improving the experience of those we represent. The arrangements I have announced today are intended to provide a positive opportunity for members to make new law in the next two years. However, these proposals are likely to be coming alongside a full programme of legislation from the Executive. And members will note the indication from the Head of the Civil Service to the Executive Office Committee last week that 11 bills are expected to come to the Assembly before the summer. I have written to the First and Deputy First Minister for an indication of when they will be coming to the Assembly to announce the Executive's legislative programme and to give the Assembly the chance to debate it. Therefore, given the time pressures ahead, I suggest that members should seek to take advantage of the opportunity for them to pursue private members' bill at an early stage. Thank you. I've also received a request which has been granted to